Today I'm going to do the draw for this Chubb 3G114, but before I do that, I just want to show you something, because Roy Sammons mentioned on a previous video about showing the difference in the wires for the curtain and the non-curtain sided mortise lever lock. Now when you're picking a mortise lever lock, which hasn't got a curtain on it, the wire can just be bent like that, just a normal 90 degree bend. I have shown this previously, but I just thought I'd go through it again. So this is a lever lock without a curtain on it. And your tension tool needs to have a tool upright on it because that goes in, it goes underneath the levers and it tensions the bolt at the back. And then when you put your pick wire in, you obviously just pick the levers up. So that wire can be straight. On these top, you'd actually pick the levers up from that side. Always go from the furthest point away from the pivot point. So you can have a normal basic 90 degree bend for a lock without a curtain and the tension tool needs to have an upright on it. So that's that one explained again. Now secondly, when you're picking a lock with a cam in it or a curtain, I'll just demonstrate some of it. You're upright, it can be tall, but also it's just as easy to have a small upright because you don't need to actually tension the bolt as such, you only turn the cam with it. So we turn the cam around with that now. And we've got tension on it, just make sure nothing all pops out. It's only just to demonstrate the wire. Now that's obviously got tension on. So if you was to put your wire in without a kink on it, which is the type of wire used for non-curtain, you wouldn't get it in, look. Because it needs to come round there. So it needs a little tiny bit of a bend on it. So when you're making a wire for a lock with a curtain on it, you need to have that little bend on it. Because that little bend there just sits over and just goes underneath all the levers like that. So that's why you need a bend on a lock with a curtain in. And on a lock without a curtain in, it can just be a straight 90 degree bend. That one needs a little kink in it. I have done videos showing you how to make these. Dead simple. You just put them in the vise and just tap it a couple of times just to get that little bend on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this lock back together and demonstrate what happens when you try to pick it with that type of wire. And then after that, we'll do the draw for the 3G114. I've put the covers back on both the locks. So the lock without the curtain, the tension tool you need is one with an upright. That'll go into the lock, it'll turn around, it'll catch the bolt, it'll tension it up and you can pick it. And the pick you need is a pick with just a normal 90 degree bend on it. It doesn't have to have that little kink in it. And you just lift up the levers. Obviously, if you put that type of tension tool in a lock without a curtain, it'll just turn around. It won't catch the bolt. Now, this type of lock with the curtain, you can use either a tension tool without the upright, as long as it's got a bit of a nib on it. So when you turn it, it will still tension the lock. But you can also still use this type of tension tool. So we'll put that in, turn it around, and again, that will tension the bolt. But if you try to put this wire in, because it hasn't got that little kink on it, the little angle, it won't sort of bend around the curtain. And if you put that wire in, you're not going to get it in. You're not going to get it under the levers. So when picking locks with a curtain on, it needs to have that little tiny bend on it. And that bend just goes round the top of the curtain. And you can lift the levers with it. I'll just demonstrate that. So we'll put that in, put some tension on it. Get it to the front, he says, bit of a wiggle, and then lift up them levers and just go underneath the levers and it'll open. This particular lock is really easy to open. In fact, I'm giving one of these away on the next giveaway. I'll also give this away. This will be on the third giveaway. So again, if you want this one, I mean, this is really easy to open. If you want this one, comment on this video for this lock. So that's opened up. So that's explained the difference in the bends you need on your pick wires. Right, let's move this lot out of the way. Let's get my phone set up and let's do the draw for the Chubb 3G114. Right, let's get the draw done for this Chubb. I'm now gonna paste onto this list everybody's name who commented on the video when I picked open this Chubb and says they wanted to be entered into the draw for the Chubb, not for the ERA, for the Chubb. So that's everyone's names on the list there. Obviously, they've now gone onto the wheel so we're going to spin the wheel and it's just going to randomly select a winner. So good luck, everyone.
and the winner is David Trump. Right, David, you've won yourself a Chubb 3G114. So if you can email me your address, I'll get that sent out to you ASAP. Now I'm going to do another draw in a couple of days for an ERA. It's not this one. It's one I've done on the previous video. This is actually the third giveaway I'm going to do because I've just picked this one and this one's really easy to pick. I'm going to give this one away as well. So if you want this one, you need to comment on this video. Obviously, everybody who's previously commented can carry on commenting and you must be UK. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, congratulations to David. Thanks everybody else for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.